This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy, Brutal Legend, available Rocktober 13th, Tune Up, your music collection is a mess, Tune Up fixes it, and Hippie Glenn's new hair extension kit. Get your hip on. Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this in Southern California. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put eerie in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello, friends. Welcome to this episode of Dignation, episode number 223. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation, of course, covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com, D-I-double-jiggy.kizami. That's right. I forgot to put hair stuff in. That's right. Your hair looks uh, looks smelt. a little, little bland today. It's good. No, but it's, it's not bland. It's longer than hippie's hair it's if you saw last natural. week's episode. Dude, so excited we did that to poor hippie. Yeah, if you missed last week's episode, <laughs> go back in time. There is a reason he's bald, and let's just say... It has to, to do with do Kevin. With me and him. And the worst rendition money, of Batman I've ever Batman. seen in my life. Horrible. Right? How did Kevin think that was good? <laughs> well, first no, of all... No, no, no. It's all good. It was hey, my what first we, time. What are we drinking? Oh, what? there was so much talk last episode of, oh, this is what I do. For, I do this epic. I'm. This is my job. How much to put lightning bolts in it right now? Because it would look good. Admit oh. it. Admit it. <laughs> oh. A couple lightning bolts down the think, sides. I don't think I can afford <laughs> coming in here and doing doing hippies hair every episode. <laughs> Going uh, out to bars, though, the, the ladies like to pet the head. Oh, no, 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 oh. no. Tell him. Tell. Let's have a little talk, Okay, let's we? break it down. What happened? Let's have a little talk. Let's have a little talk about what else happened when you shaved your head. What else happened? It's fucked up. We should tell the story. What's that? I'm Dude, excited as you, you are. When you first shaved your head, what happened? Dude, Did you... uh, oh, would you like priority seating, sir? Oh. <laughs> what happened? People thought he was a cancer patient because his That's head was so guess. white. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, my head was, it looked like I had just cut all my hair and that I would... Like it was white as hell. Uh, and so like so we did, were people were... In, nobody assumed it was a style choice because it was right. so it was horrible. So horrible. Yeah. They were like, oh my God, that poor man must have had some sort of accident. Right, but here's the yeah. fucked up thing. We'd be seated, right? They got like nice seating and he's like, I'll take a beer, please. Like ordering, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and they're like, "Oh my God, he must be really sick." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not even caring about it. Can I get extra dessert? You can have as many dessert as you'd like, sir. It, it was weird, though. I mean, like, people talk to me a lot more at the bank and just day to day little things running around. Which is funny because I would assume that it would be the other I way around. I thought so too. Because it could have gone white supremacist, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Could have been neo-Nazi. Speaking of neo Nazis, for no around? reason, I don't know. But this is good tea. Oh, thank you. This is uh, this is. <laughs> I don't know how it's connected to neo Nazism. <laughs> yeah, why did you say speaking of neo Nazism? <laughs> you know, it's just a phrase I like to say. Um, yeah, this is really good tea. This mm. is tea from China. Uh, Glenn and I picked it up from a small little uh, little tea uh, um, market. Look at that leaf. It's good. What is it? A bit. Uh, it was a, it's just a standard green tea. It's a really long, full leaf green tea. Oh, I hear uh, the new touch up happening. That's, uh, that Hippie. would be my teapot going in. Hippie's going to get that. Hippie's going to uh, become our bald tea oh, connoisseur. Speaking what? of which, got new shoes. It almost seems like I'm sponsored by these guys, but I'm not. So I just have to say this, Kevin. Okay. And maybe I'm just talking for yes, a portion of our. Yes, horrible. That, those are the stupidest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Okay. And I've seen some fucked up shoes. I live in Los Angeles. So, first of all, okay. <laughs> these are... I mean, I'm just... I'm not, you know, I Vibram. love you to death, but those are really, really stupid shoes. Okay, these are called Vibram Five Fingers. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I will say this. I thought the same thing when I, I saw them... Uh, yes. For the first time. <clears throat> yes. And then I tried them on. A friend of mine had a pair, and then I tried them on. And I was like, holy shit, they're so comfortable. Like, you feel connected to the ground. I don't wear them every day. They're not a daily uh, shoe. I've that actually you wear. never seen you wearing them. Thank you. Oops. Who? Oh, you like your feet on the ground. So, so, so what, what you do, though, basically, is you wear this them. This is boiling hot water that we're pouring over my feet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I just, just didn't want to be the only one who noticed. <laughs> So let me just show you. Um, so here, this is a weird. Is it? Is it? How does it work? I mean, it, are, is it weird to try them on? Like, if I was like, well, can I try them on? What size shoe do you wear? I wear a nine and a half, ten. Oh, you can try these on easy. Yeah. I wear, I, they'll be a little bit big on you, but you can go ahead and give them a try. Okay. Because I have no fungus. I because because here's the thing. Oh, and I just steeped my. Did you spill? No, no. 
I had a guy that found shoes out on the street, and they were in decent shape. He wore them for like two weeks and developed a crazy foot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's yeah. when you, that is the best story I've ever heard. You have to spray them Who out. Who in their right mind finds shoes on the street and then... <laughs> Okay, so what is so what's the point? So there okay, are the no, shoes. Feel that how that no, stand on it though. Stand okay. on the foot. Feel how connected you are to the earth. It's different, huh? Because it's a very thin layer of rubber between you and the actual ground. When you walk outside, you will feel the pebbles in the road. Uh, isn't that what we call annoying? No, well, he, well, here's the deal. Because that's usually why I don't walk out in bare feet, is because shit gets under my foot. Right. And I go, so, ah! so, so let me let me just. <laughs> I don't want to be like walking around. Hey, this is a great hike. Oh fuck! Come on, rock. Let, let me throw this out there. So imagine this. But I do feel like I could like pick stuff up, maybe. With your toes? Maybe. So what these are for, Alex, more than anything right. else, is that your feet will actually strengthen because oh. you're actually using your full foot on the ground versus just like a big pad. Okay. So you'll notice that your your um, your feet feel tired at the end of the day after wearing them for for a, a full day. You are really not selling these shoes. No, no, no. <laughs> so you can feel all the bumps that suck when no. you step on them, and then your feet feel really tired after you use them. Yeah, but the reason I do it is because I use it for strengthening my feet for rock climbing. Okay. And then a lot of people that do yoga or, or long distance running uh, will wear these. Okay. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of just like, it's not okay. an everyday thing, at least initially. It's Especially because, Jesus, I can slip in and out my flip flops okay. way faster than that. I know, hold on. <laughs> They're just a little harder to get on the first go. I just got these, so they kind of have to break in. There we go. Got it. So, um, what the hell is happening? Anyway, right it's, it's more of a, I mean, it's more of a kind of uh, outdoorsy, like it's a building up your feet. Yeah, I mean, take a look at that guy right there. Yeah, that Boom. guy, well, considering he's like handshaking himself, which is epic. How do you know this guy? Uh, I think women are too aware of the fact that these are ugly shoes. <laughs> uh, apparently I believe not. this is only a male. Apparently, they enjoy the shoes while swimming. Mm. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Think about that when you're going on the beach. Yeah, that paid model really enjoys those <laughs> shoes. <laughs> But anyway, I say good for you, sir, for being so confident that you can wear shoes that look like socks. Dude, I'm not wearing these clothes. out on a date, and I'm definitely not going to, but I will wear them around the block if I'm going to go have coffee with somebody, you know? Yeah, why wouldn't you? And I'll you? tell you what, people stop you every fucking five minutes, and they're like, what are you wearing on your feet? <laughs> and you're like, thank you. Thank you for noticing. I am st currently strengthening my overall foot pad. <laughs> I'm glad that you noticed that. Do you see how powerful my I'm, feet I'm look? Get, I'm, getting, I'm getting you a pair for, for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, if you get me a pair, I'm going to have to try it, like, you walk around for a while. Bit, right? Of course. Well, yeah. I'm not going to be like, hey, F you gift man. This is, this is going to be my gift for everyone for the holidays. There's going to be a lot of foot out there. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to swallow the tea. I don't All right. All right, let's get into the shoe, shall let's we? Let's do it. Roll the big shoe. First store of the day. Ernie and... Give it a shot. How would you say that? Anastros. Anastos. I don't, I don't know him because he's not from our district. He's on uh, Fox 5 KNYW. He's Anastos. 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 Uh, he's Anastos. a weatherman. Uh, oh, no, no. He's telling the weatherman... Well, I'll let you just watch the video. We'll okay, yeah, because now I'm really excited. I haven't seen this. Appa I know it's been around the internet, but I haven't. Uh, okay, apparently <clears throat> he makes, he, he makes just says random things all the time. So this is one of the things that he said. What? Let me get my glass. It's a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Keep fucking that chicken. Okay, I'll do it. Look at the eyes on the lady next to him. She's like. He said, it takes a tough man to make a tender forecast. That's what yeah. he said. So then he said, keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, play that again. Oh, okay. It takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Yeah. Keep fucking that chicken. Alright, before we continue, the lost symbol has found lots of readers. The new book by the author of the Yes. There must be an app. No, 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 no. You know, basically, I mean, this guy is known for doing that. Like, he says fucking he, random things. Yeah, he's, but he can't curse on television. No, 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 but I think he's got that kind of like, you know, where you just blurt out random <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, Tourette's. Oh, does he say, sorry, I said keep fucking that chicken, but. I don't think so. Her facial expression is good. Let's see if. Hey, 
He's just like, he's like a real life Ron Burgundy, dude. Wow, that guy is a real life Ron Burgundy and my new hero. I know, how, I would tune into the news every night. If every I knew, night? If I knew he was gonna say every some shit like that. It takes a strong man to make a tender forecast. I guess that's it, keep fucking that chicken, buddy. <laughs> you do your job well. Chicken fucker. <laughs> and what does that even mean? That's, that's the best that's part. That's what's so brilliant about it. That's the best part. I think it's because chicken tenders, right? Uh, I mean, I think that's where the logic, I mean, if there's any, comes look, in. Look how shocked. The... <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing! Uh, so oh good. my god, that is amazing. I think he might have been plucking the chicken. I think that's where his... Maybe. He oh, said really? fucking that the was... chicken. So. That is the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah, Glenn, just keep fucking that chicken, buddy. <laughs> you do what you do, my friend. In a chicken. That's... <laughs> like, what? Uh, this is where news needs to go. <laughs> I want my hard-hitting news, but I also want them to have a good time with it. You I want my I mean? soft-hitting chicken fucking news. That should be their new posters. Channel 5 new, News at 7. Keep fucking chicken, chicken fucking good news. <laughs> <laughs> That's some chicken fucking good news. <laughs> <laughs> news that makes you feel like a man. Uh, Keep fucking that chicken. That's awesome. Amazing. Amazing. And I love that he, the, the weather guy, was sort of like, oh, I will. I will. <laughs> will do, champ. Yeah, I know, totally. And the girl next to him was like, did he just say fucking a chicken on TV? It's so awesome. Where did my communication skills go? The eyes on that woman, though, are just, like, precious. Yeah. Gigantic. They were like saucers. Yeah, apparently he does this all the time. Crazy. Well, stuff. where's all the other videos, There's man? Other I want to see all of them. them. I, I can find one more. Ernie Anastos. Uh, here we go. Here's Live him. news bloopers. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The Shea Stadium auction is up and running right now. And here's the story. The Mets fans are bidding up a storm. Everything from turnstiles to menu boards to store signs with pictures of the players. They're all up for grabs. Even the letters used to spell Shea Stadium are selling. The S is up uh, for 2500 bucks. If you want to log on to myfoxandwide.com, you can... <laughs> <laughs> Like the scene on TV. Dot cock. <laughs> Amazing. Fox.cock. Fox. Fox. My Fox News. News. Dot cocks. If you want to log on to my Fox and why Don Cock, you can the <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Click the scene on TV tab for the link to the auction site. All right, Derek. We'll be right back. After uh, the break, wait. Uh, Very nice. How's the wake-up weather? Next, it's going to be fantastic. We got a great forecast because you're going to have a big area of high pressures moving down, and that's going to guarantee not only a great wake-up, but also a great holiday weekend forecast. There it is. That high is moving in. Just a few high clouds overnight right now, but again, no issues in the forecast. Out the door in the morning, 58 degrees at 7 a.m., bright and sunny, and the sunshine will stay 74 in the high tomorrow afternoon. That's running uh, about 9 degrees above average. Now, 72 Saturday, 73 Sunday, lots of sunshine, and a few clouds will appear Monday and Tuesday as we stay in the low 70s, overnight lows in the mid-50s. And did you know you can go to myfoxny.com yes, and get that five day? That's exactly where you go. And you get can it check all. out my weather blog there, too. You're a good man. Blog, right. blog. That's myfoxny.com. <laughs> Very good, Nick. That's our report for tonight. Thanks for watching and staying up with us. I'm Maria Nastas. I'm Gary Alexander. Thank you. All right. Wake up, of course, tomorrow morning. A good day in New York. 4.55 a.m. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. That wasn't as good as I wanted it to be after the break. Yeah. It was a little long. All right. Oh, goodcock.com. What? All right. Next story. Windows 7 launch party parody is bleeping genius. 899 people dug the story submitted by Transylvanic. Microsoft's cringe-inducing host your party instructional video undergoes a remix. Now, first off, I had no idea that the that Windows 7 was doing this launch party thing anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was only after I saw I saw that there was this parody that I went, "What the hell is this launch party thing?" So here's the here's the deal. <clears throat> is this the original? This is the original. Okay. And we'll just watch a, just a taste of this lovely acting and and amazing ability. 
Welcome to the party. The four of us, along with Host Worldwide, and you are launching Windows 7 Ultimate Software. So, you know what? Let's take a minute or so to tell you about how great it is to host a launch party. You can use House Party tools to build your guest list, upload your pictures, which is his favorite, right? right? <laughs> and you can even get a party pack. Though you're in your own home, you'll be able to participate with others in this exciting event around the world. In a lot of ways, you're just throwing a party with Windows 7 as an honored guest. Yeah. Sounds easy. And it is. <laughs> but we thought you'd probably oh, like boy. to know what to do to get ready and how some hosts no. want their party to This is the best part. Yeah. Well, now, the four of us got to have our parties a little ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. to, you know, try everything out. So we thought we'd be able to tell you some of the tips that help make our parties really fun. Yeah. Now, of course, the first thing you want to do is install Windows 7. Right? Duh. Duh. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do that a couple days in advance of the party. Call customer service if you have any questions. Right. Exactly. Yeah, play with Windows 7 sure. before the party. This second, look at the activities you and your guests can right? try at oh, your party, geez. and choose the ones that seem to you to be the most fun. I just this is when you, you, Microsoft. <clears throat> The oh, fact that they even it's not did this. It's not Microsoft. It's Who is their it? ad agency, dude. This is Microsoft doesn't do shit. Well, they have a person that looks at this. That the ad agency. Somebody is, had to say yes at Microsoft. Yes, they the went, ad agency we comes have in. Totally awkward people telling people to throw parties oh, to God. launch Windows Seven. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that, man. my friends, is fucking a chicken. <laughs> yes, it's it just. Uh, <laughs> Microsoft really needs to fire their ad agency. I think it's horrible. Dude, it, it, it just doesn't, it, it boggles the mind. It's one of those things, that, you know what it does? It makes them seem so old and out of touch. Well, they, I think that's probably the problem. <clears throat> right? I know, but that's the thing. It's like, you know, I mean, Apple's been around for just as long and they just don't seem as old and out of touch. You know what I mean? Right. But then, they do some stuff that's like, yeah, like the Zoom HD is like super sexy and cool and sleek and all that stuff, you know? But the, and, and Windows 7 is really, really nice. Right, right. It's new, it feels fresh and young and good. And But then this kind of advertising stuff, it's like, are you effing kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, so here's the mash, here's the remix. That it only did. takes one bad decision one maker. One bad decision, man. To, to, to make this happen. Welcome to the party. So, you know what? Let's take a minute or so to tell you about how great it is to well, now, the four of us got to have our parties a little ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. You know, try everything out. So we thought we'd be able to tell you some of the tips that help make our parties really fun. Right. Yeah. Now, of course, the first thing you want to do is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you do that a couple days in advance of the party. You gotta play with before. <laughs> Second, look at the activities you and your guests can try at your party and choose the ones that seem to you to be the most fun. There's a video of each activity from one of our parties mm -hmm. and we have tried them all, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You just look at them all and decide which one seems to be the most fun for your guests. Right. Um, and some of the host notes, oh. uh, they list both <laughs> But you may want to them, but you have to make sure that you have the right devices on hand. <laughs> now, after my overview, I went straight to Oh, we went straight to <laughs> Well, I let everybody fool around with <laughs> 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 And then we started an activity maybe 30 minutes later. In any event, we each did an act <laughs> or two. Uh, mm -hmm. I did three. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Some activities have a uh, modest setup. You know, oh, they yeah. require certain things for you to have at the house. Right. Well, sure. <laughs> None of the setup is too hard. Right? right? You need to make sure that you, you're ready to go when your guests mm -hmm. arrive, right. and there are bonus <laughs> in some cases, and you, you want to go deeper perhaps oh, yeah. into it, and you have to have the equipment to do that. Right. This thing is to be totally creative mm -hmm. with the party oh, yeah. and the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, see, this should have been the ad they put out. And then yes. you said Windows 7, and yes. you've been like, whoa, Windows 7 is like porn. Like, yeah. I, I, should, I should be buying that. That old lady took a lot in the ass. <laughs> At least that's what the beeps implied. <laughs> Dude, it it's one of those sad things where you're like, come on, Microsoft. You're yeah. so close, yet so far. Yep. All right. I don't know Anywho. how to even suggest that they change that. You just got to fire the people in charge. Just well, the problem is it's kind of a top down. B Bomber has to look at this and be like, this is fucking horrible. Like Steve Jobs, if someone tried to make an yeah. Apple ad like this, yeah. he'd be like, oh, 10 people are going to lose their jobs over this shit. 
Because well, this is stupid bullshit, right? That might be the reason is because I know I know Jobs is sort of a, a, a guy you don't want to talk to at work because whenever you talk to him, it's like, oh, really? You're fired. You know what I mean? But that's what you need because yeah, but, people need to not go, well, what should we do? Oh, let's do one of those like party things. Let's have people have a hosting party. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, let's just get some you know people here and we'll just you know, pay them and yeah. talk and all that crap. Is someone coming here? Oh, I think my cleaners are coming. Should we just test them? Hello. Hi. Hey, hey. Co- come on in. We're just shooting a little uh, video podcast. Yeah. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll 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 be done in just a little bit. So. We actually, we came just to put your clothes to wash. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And then we come back later on to to clean the house. Awesome. Great. Perfect. While we are in uh, the other house, very close here. So. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. So okay. people have just arrived to <laughs> Watch my steal clothes. your clothes. <laughs> okay. All um, right. That's, uh, that's it's uh, awkward. That's the big life right there. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? I really. I put. It's there's a, a lot deal. of poop it's in my underwear. Could you just <laughs> just really take a good look at that underwear? <laughs> it's a good deal. It, it's a, 140 bucks, and they do the whole fucking house, and it looks including amazing. Including your laundry. Including laundry, dude. All right. Every All right. two weeks. Every two weeks is what I get done. Nice. And then you have fresh, clean sheets and everything. Because I hate fucking putting sheets on, you know. Yeah. It's like the worst part about doing laundry, right? Especially by yourself. By yourself? Yeah, you have no way help. At least was you feel like a one end <laughs> a one arm monkey when you're doing that stuff. It's like what I I can't do anything. Right. You, you have to go over to one edge, it pops off. Like what the fuck? How do you fix that? Let's make a device that fixes Dude, that. If we could do Dude, a device. If you had like a robot Why are we that had so these quiet? <laughs> if, you, if you could make a robot that you put the end edges in and it like extends its arms up and starts to like spin please. and then goes down and connects it. Please. Wouldn't you buy that? Please do the infomercial for that. I'm Alex Albrecht <laughs> and today I'm gonna show you an amazing robot. I'm gonna <laughs> introduce you to my friend, Roby the Robot. <laughs> Roby's single passion in life is putting your fitted mattress sheet on your bed. Don't have a Don't. significant other? No problem. No problem. Roby will do the job. <laughs> yeah. Roby has six accessory ports in the back. <laughs> Oh god, that would be so awesome. What kind of accessory would you have? <laughs> oh, <laughs> part. It comes in four different kinds of color. Four easy payments. <laughs> of just $79.99. Dude, you should do infomercials. I'll come on with you. We'll make a fuck ton of money, dude. Yeah, you dude, you joke. We just need something to sell. Swords. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We'll just do infomercials for swords. Well, you know, swords right, are. Yeah, man. Pretty, you know, we yeah. can buy them cheap and sell them <laughs> China. All right. Oh, yeah, we should do the Dignation sword kit. Absolutely. That'd be great. Laser Ooh, kit. We got any, anything kit. lasers. I'd Dude, sell anything lasers. We bought some amazing lasers in China. We told you about that, though. What? I didn't tell you about this? Buying lasers in China? Dude, no. We, so we were on in That's China. That's something that you hear on, like, Alias. <laughs> Dude, when we were in China, we were basically sitting there, and there, this <clears> lady was walking by shooting these, like, high-powered lasers, like, burn-your-skin-blind-you green lasers. At like, people? You know, they're just in the sky. <laughs> Are they looking? Yeah. It's literally really going around. Was. <laughs> but it was like we were sitting there having dinner and we're looking and these lasers are going miles. Miles. Yeah. And they're the full beam. Like even if there's nothing in the air, like full beam, like you can see them, right? And so I was like, holy shit. We, Glenn and I we were both looking at them. We were with Tim, our friend Tim. And our friend Tim's like, oh, it's some bullshit. And Glenn and I are immediately like, oh, we kind of fucking want lasers. lasers. <laughs> right? So we get up and we're trying to negotiate with them anyway. We got down to about five bucks a laser. This is stronger, dude. Yeah. Really? Okay. What? And you want two of them? I love how you and I got suckered into buying the laser pointers. Dude, I love dude, laser you guys pointers. Are the, you guys are the dream clients. We yes. are, dude. Fucking, We're just totally, like, oh, dude, oh okay. this looks like a deal to Your me. This shit does not oh. do this. You don't look at that. Oh, don't pull that out in public. Yeah. <laughs> We got them down to? Yeah, 10, maybe. Yeah, maybe five, 10 bucks a laser. It's not bad And for these, a laser. these things are illegal in the United States, man. Like, I can I can hit things miles away. And tell them what you were doing at Burning Man with your laser. Yeah, Burning Man, it was insane. I mean, I with would your laser? It, I would just put it like a foot off the ground yeah. and shoot it. Because I'm a responsible laser user, so I don't point it at people's eyes. Right. You just point it um, randomly in directions of drunk dancing people <laughs> well, who may or may not be high on cocaine. People like a mile away would be <clears> jumping over it and trying to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your very sensible use of your laser. 
What, why do you have those two concentric circle burned into your cheeks? I was trying to eat a laser at Burning Man. I don't know. The guy was very nice, though. He didn't set it up at eye level. They're, so they're, I had to crawl down to burn my right Dude, hands. they're really hardcore. Yeah, they're dude, fun. that's awesome. I want one. Yeah, um, I had to get some new batteries for mine because mine drained out. They're really good if you're into astronomy. You can you point can things like, out. There's the fucking little difference. I'm serious. Like, you think we're fucking kidding. You can point the sky and you'll see the fucking dot and you'll be able to be like, okay, there's the dipper. And like, it looks Love like it. you're hitting it. Yeah. This is a good infomercial. Yeah. Where, can you sell them? Uh, well, we can get them for dirt cheap, so we could probably you you could easily sell them for for twenty or thirty dollars. I'd love to see the half hour time lapse of you guys trying to get that woman who sold you lasers in China for no, five dollars on the phone. We, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, I'm I'm the guy that bought those lasers. Yeah, just two of them. It's me and another guy. Well, if we did it in bulk, we could probably. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy a hundred thousand of your lasers. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's surprisingly what she sounded like too. She was like, she was arguing with us the entire time about price. Remember? Because she said, "Love it." What? Well, they're us, military grade lasers. Well, of course, she's so, arguing about price. So we're walking around shooting our lasers, having a good old time, and a second lady approaches us and she's like, "Your lasers are underpowered," like telling us that, that we don't have the good ones. And then she's like, I'll trade you. Remember she wanted to trade lasers and then like an upgrade fee? And I was just like, what the fuck is this going on? It was Wow, lasers in China. Who knew, man? It was awesome. <laughs> All right. It's like the ice capades. Like All right, next story of the day. It's official. Water found on the moon. 2,877 people dug the story submitted by Ben B24. Since man first touched the moon and brought pieces of it back to Earth, scientists have been have thought that the lunar surface was bone dry. But new observations from three different spacecraft have put this notion to rest <coughs> with what has been called evidence of water surfacing on you the mean, moon. You um, mean unambiguous yes, evidence? Yes, unambiguous evidence of water being on the moon. I love that when Kevin gets to a word I and just he's like, it. I just don't know if I'm going to get through that word. <laughs> and then he goes, ah. Uh, uh, evidence. Evidence. Um, so this is a big deal. Ambiguous. <laughs> What's up? This is a big deal. Basically, Dude, uh, water on another place. Well, I mean, it means that we can go and create a a kind of uh, utopia. Uh, yes, yeah, moon type base. Of, yeah, moon base. Exactly. Dude, I, we have talked about moon bases and moons and Mars and all space stuff on the show so many times. Yes, yes, yes. I would go live on a moon base. Now all we need is a way to create oxygen. Well, they can do that, right? Yeah, I mean yeah. that's what nuclear subs you do, right? They just like suck in the stuff and create no, it out. No, no, and no. Make that's oxygen. taking in water and taking the oxygen out of the water. Ice is water. Right, but how much you'd have to melt it? Oh, God forbid! God forbid there were some sort of weird device seems, that made energy that could heat It seems like things. a lot of work just to get it. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. They, yeah, let's just shove no, no, tanks hold on. of oxygen that no, no, we no, farm they, here. They, they create oxygen, right? Like, how do they fucking have so much oxygen on the fucking uh, base, uh, International Space Station? They ship it up there. Do they? I'm pretty okay. Sure. Yeah, they don't just suck it out of the <laughs> vacuum of space. How do they? There's some sort of new technology that'll, yes. like, harvest the stars and make oxygen. Watch, I'm fucking right, and you guys are going to be fucking pissed. So harvest it. Breathing, Breathing easy, easy on, on the, the space, space station. station. Okay, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Life support systems on the ISS provide oxygen, absorb carbon dioxide, and manage vaporous emissions from the astronauts You're themselves. You're just reading a sentence. Hold on. That's not anything to do with Many it. of us struck on Earth with a temporary... Making years. oxygen from water. Look, that's what they do. Many people survive. Oh, okay, making oxygen from nothing. That doesn't say that at all. You're making that up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, NASA, oh, along look, with a team of it. warlocks, <laughs> has discovered a way to make oxygen from nothing. Here's how they do it. Here's how they do the it. The technology is patented, though, as it is metaphysical. Urine recovery then turns into portable water. Yes. Wait, portable gosh, water. Urine? urine recovery turns into portable water. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Dude, you just blew tea in my fucking eye, dude. What the fuck was that all about? That was a it's, side blow. It says potable water, <laughs> not portable water. <laughs> potable means it's drinkable. <laughs> so. But the best part is you go you go portable water, and I'm sitting right here, and I go potable, and then he goes, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. It makes portable water. <laughs> like it, just I, whispered in your ears so that you could know it. I thought they had to carry the urine to the, the oh, portable urine to the Oh, good lord! I love it. 
Okay. Uh, um, unlike that non-portable so, water, here we go. it's very difficult to drink. The, the water turns goes to the oxygen generator, yeah. which then is converted into oxygen mm -hmm. back to the humans. So <laughs> that makes sense. All right. But there has to be some sort of something going in, right? Do they make air out of urine? Is that what we're hearing here? It looks like they make air out of urine. <laughs> yeah, but it all comes back. It's like the circle of life, like Lion King. <laughs> yep, there's Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Holy crap, that was fun. All right, you blew. I hope you, are you fucking not sick. If I get sick, I have to fly tomorrow. All right. Dude, it's all right. I have tea. Mm -hmm. All right. Tea makes you not sick. All right. Uh, next story. I'm gonna say I don't really know tons about this, but I'm, I, it's very interesting. Lily Allen deletes pro copyright blog. All right, 1,401 people dug the story submitted by M MK Lopez. Yesterday it was revealed that despite her calls for tougher anti-privacy -pri litigation or legislation, Lily Allen herself created illicit mixtapes full of copyrighted music and made them available to the public. Today, after having realized why it is okay with her pro with why it's okay for her to pirate music, she killed her pro copyright blog because the abuse was getting too much. So, <clears throat> I guess Lily Allen is is a singer. She's like you guys said she's a singer from the UK or something. Mm -hmm. um, she's great. Really yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd heard of her, but I don't. I'm not a big, huge, big music mm -hmm. person. But basically, what happened was. She got on the bandwagon as far as a lot of other people, and I totally understand that as a music creator, um, to really be very anti-piracy and like, hey, let's really make this a harder thing. As, as she was quoted to saying, um, hold on, she was quoted to, s let me see. Yep, up, up, up. A few dozen articles uh, uh, complained how, she complained how illegal file sharing is bankrupting the music industry. Well, on her lilyallenmusic.com, there were a bunch of mixtapes for people to download publicly that had all this copyrighted information. Now, what she says is, look, I made those five years ago, and I had no idea how any of this stuff was working. Mm -hmm. She basically wasn't, didn't know the copyright laws and all that stuff, which, I mean, I can kind of understand, right? I don't think anybody, even back then, no matter how non-informed you were, didn't think that what they were doing was not legal, right? I mean, it's like copying a DVD and being like, well, I, I wasn't making movies back then, so I didn't really get the intricacies of right, right. movie distribution. I was like, well, you don't need to get the intricacies of movie distribution to know if somebody buys a CD and then you copy that CD and give it to somebody else, that can't be legal. I mean, it just seems common sense, right? Mm. I don't know. When I was little and we were copying tapes, we didn't really think this was illegal. Well, it's not like she was 12. Right. She was an adult. Right. <clears throat> but she just created what, like a, a streaming mixtape from on her website, or was that what was that the deal? I think it was downloadable. Oh, downloadable mixtape. Yeah, basically she just put up mixtapes on her website for people to download. Hmm. And it wasn't her music. No. Uh. Right. Now you start to go. Okay. I mean, I get that she didn't know the intricacies of the music industry. But, but she pulled. So is she going pro piracy now? No, she's anti piracy. Still, even though she took down her blog. She took down her pro-piracy blog. She took down the blog that had the mixtapes. Oh. She went, whoops, I forgot that I had these mixtapes I, I was now. doing five years ago and I was pirating. And then all the people who were like, you can't, it's a little hypocritical to be like, anti-piracy. Nope, I forgot to take down my pirate blog. Right. It's like, wait <laughs> right. a minute. You know what I mean? That's like the guys from Pirates Bay coming out and being like, pirates are bad. It's just so. Oh, we should take down Pirates Bay, right? Isn't it weird to you, and, and I may be wrong here, but it seems to me like the artists that are making the most money <clears throat> are always the ones that care most about piracy. A lot of like new independent artists that I see online, they're like, hey man, as long as someone's listening to my shit, I'm fucking happy, right? They want to get yeah. it out there, <clears throat> they do donations, they release free, more free songs. It just seems yeah. like, like, I don't know, it, it feels like an old, like a changing of the, the guard in some ways. Like, it feels like a lot of these new, younger artists get Well, but that she's a young it, artist. I mean, she's not, she's not, you know, you too. you know what I mean? But isn't or she, Metallica. she makes a She makes a lot of money. of money, yeah. I mean, she's very, very successful. I don't know, man. I just, <clears throat> I think that ugh, people are too greedy. Seriously. In my mind, if, if, you, if you're sitting there and you're like, okay, you know what? I got five million bucks in the bank. And, and you can just fucking, you're making music, it, give it away. 
Do pull the radio well, head. I mean, okay, I, I get that. I You're do feel that way sometimes. You're gonna make more money concerts or whatever. Touring and merch. Touring and merch, you make a fuck yeah. ton of money. Look at Nine but, Inch Nails. Well, no, but nowadays, the music labels take your merch and, and touring rights. Nowadays, no. well, that's oh, not yeah, actually they do. true. Yeah, Look at what Trent Reznor's does. done. No, no, no. He's but controlled Trent Reznor, the whole thing himself. Yeah, but that's because he won. Got out signed, of the label. Won, yeah, and won. He was signed back when they didn't care about the concerts or the merch rights because they were making so much money on the music stuff. Believe me, now... So he got out of his, his, his deal, No, right? I know, but I'm telling you right now, Lily Allen, her, her <clears throat> co- there's no way her contract doesn't have her label taking a large chunk of her concert ticket sales well, that's and just her merch. Her, her being stupid then. No, 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 no. That's what all of them are doing no, no, now. Well, no. I mean, look at, like, Arctic Monkeys was the first what? It was the first band that ever went mainstream that was a uh, MySpace-only band. They didn't even have a, a label or anything. They were like... <laughs> They were the, they were that big monkey? success story of breakout for being an independent artist, sure, right? Sure, and I'm not saying that doesn't exist. I'm just saying that if somebody has a record contract and it's relatively new, right. there's no way, unless they're already successful and already making money and just want to make a little bit more money, that they're going to be able to retain all of the rights for merch and all sure, the rights for concerts. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, I totally So I'm just that. saying, it's I, hard. It, I will say, though having $5 million in the bank and being able to make music is great, I also can understand coming from a situation of well, but I I, I also want what's r- fair and what you know what I mean. Like I wouldn't want a record label making more money than you know what I mean. Right, but I guess so. Like I think that Radiohead's a great example in this. I mean, clearly they've gone long enough now to where they're no longer in this crazy wrapped up contract, right? Because they're releasing right, yeah, songs yeah. independently. <clears throat> they're yeah. doing everything on their own, right? They've yeah. got a fuck ton of money, right? Right. So I'm not saying that like I think it's a metric if you're fuck, a metric fuck done, yeah, yes. I think there's a lot more than that. If if you are if you are um, just getting started and somebody comes up to you and is like, okay, hey, listen, we're gonna give you this fucking awesome deal. You know, you're gonna make some money. I can see saying, okay, yes, I'll sign on the dotted line because I, I just want to make it. I want to make yeah. it. I want to become a big artist. I want to get my music out there. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Everybody gets screwed with their first deal. Right. Absolutely. That's just the way Put it works. Put your five albums out. Your three albums out. Whatever you sign. Yeah. Five years. Whatever the term is. Yeah. Once that's over, if you've made it. And you have a fuck ton of money, and you're like a Trent Reznor, where you're like, shit, I, I did pretty well for myself. Yeah. You know, start having fun, man. Start giving away your music. Start giving back to the community. Like, I don't think I don't think anybody is saying that that shouldn't happen. I think that should happen. No, I'm just saying like it's oftentimes <clears throat> not the case. There's only a couple bands that I can think of that are really embracing that now, yeah. right? And everyone else is like, no, fuck you, don't pirate our shit. I want to make more money. Yeah. You know, like Metallica. Oh my God, dude. We don't have to bring this up again, but I mean, those guys are freaking gazillionaires, and yet they still, you know, well, they've gotten a lot better lately, actually. They released yeah. some shit for free, and but you, you remember how they were just like five years ago. They were like yeah. fucking suing people left and right, and Lars was all up in... And... You see his art collection. Like yeah. Art collection dude, oh, the, my favorite is a picture of them on, um, in, what's that really famous Melrose Street down in LA, when they're holding like shopping bags from like Louis Vuitton and all that shit with yeah, their yeah, girlfriends yeah. and shit. <clears throat> Love it. At the same time as they're suing people. Yeah. 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 Some kind of monster is like, they, you know, oh, yeah. His, his, or Lars has this huge art collection that's like one of the best in the world. It's you know, insane. Good like, lord. Love yeah. it. It's like Bikram Yoga guy. He's got like fucking 10 cars. Does he really? I mean, that's kind of a different subject. <laughs> what? Bikram yoga, yoga guy. Like a, a yoga guy. To, yeah. Uh, like teaching yoga. Do you know Bikram yoga? yoga? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like the hot shit. <laughs> What? What happened? I mean, it's hot yoga. Like it's heated yoga. <laughs> but it's like it's like the cool like. You get it, right? Uh, it's yeah, like they you're the, speaking they totally heat, coherently. They heat the room yeah, yeah, while yeah. you're doing yoga. Yeah. And I didn't mean it to sound like that when I said it's the hot shit because it's like the cool yoga now. Yeah. But this guy, he's like, oh, what was that? Peace. And then like, so he's like, like, peace, American <laughs> Express here. Right, right. Peace, exactly. here. Peace. Exactly. peace be with you. You have no money? <laughs> Fuck out of my car. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> said exactly. Peace. Peace, peace. All right. Anyway. All right, well, let's get to the sponsor before we do our last story, do shall it. we? Uh, yes. Uh, Brutal Legends, Battle Through the World of Heavy Metal. Brutal Legends is a new epic action video game from EA and legendary game designer Tim Schafer's Double Fine Productions. Uh, it's available October 13th, featuring the voice of Jack Black as legendary rock and roll roadie Eddie Riggs. Go to www.brutallegend.com for more information. Sweet. Tune up. Tune up plugs right into iTunes and automatically corrects <clears throat> all of your unlabeled and mislabeled music in your collection. Uh, no more tracks, zero ones, unknown artists, 
or Jay-Z and Led Zeppelin spelled 10 different ways, which I have with freaking uh, Lil Wayne, actually, in a weird way. I've got like 30 of things for him. Uh, find and replace missing uh, cover art and normal ugly gray music notes on your iPhone, iPod, or iTunes. I freaking need this app. I'm not even joking you because I have a bunch of albums and they didn't have... Uh, Artwork. Also provide the best web content like automatic concert alerts, YouTube videos, Wikipedia bios based it. in your collection. Can be downloaded at <clears throat> tuneupmedia.com. Uh, lifetime license is $29.95 and a yearly license is $19.95. And you can get a 15% discount by typing dig nation at checkout. I'm gonna check this out right All now. All right, also here's the deal. As we told you in last week's episode, we made up 10 domain names that are related to some of the most popular things related to dig nation or stuff we just think is funny. We've registered these names with our good friends at godaddy.com and they're going to be giving them away at random to 10 customers. Not to qualify, you just need to register at .com, .net, .biz, or .org using the promo code dig domain, D-I-G-G -G domain. Now that's dig domain promo code also knocks the price down to just $7.49 per domain. So if you've had your eye on a domain for a while and you can save some money, get yourself a chance to win one of the domains we picked, picked out. Now see the official rules at revision3.com slash dig domain. Uh, it's also on the screen right now. And we will check some of the domain names that we've randomly given away and see if people are doing cool things with them. Nice. Epic. I am actually just installed. I'm installing. Right. There's a free version of TuneUp, by the way. <clears throat> I'm actually going to use this because nice. I have missing album. Give it a work. shot. Also, Web Zeros is now Revision 3's first sitcom launched today. We'd love you guys to give it a watch. Uh, it's about three buddies who are trying to become web celebrities. It's pretty damn funny. Comes out every Wednesday and is definitely worth taking a look. Revision3.com slash Web Zeros. Nice. All right, shall we get to the last story? Last story. Before our email. Yep, let's do it. Uh, that's yours, is it? Nope, no, cheers. Mine, okay. It's about the uh, story. Russian guy with the... Okay. I'm excited about this story because I want one. Russian billionaire installs anti-photo <clears throat> shield on huge yacht. 1,284 people take the story submitted by some young guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. That happened. Uh, this is what happened. Basically, this, uh, have you seen a picture of this boat? That is the biggest boat I've ever it's seen in my life. It's a 557 foot boat. They said uh, the price is almost doubled since of the original plans and were drawn up to almost 1.2 billion. Jesus. It has features such as two helipads, two swimming bowls. Swimming and bowls? <laughs> <laughs> Does it say pool or bowl? Because if it's bowls, I want to know, man. Those are expensive. <laughs> two crystal, giant crystal swimming bowls. <laughs> no wonder it's $1.2 billion. Fucking crystal swimming bowls. Two swimming pools <laughs> and six foot movie screens <laughs> in all the guest cabins. Wait, six one foot movie screens? No, I said six foot movie screens in all the guest cabins. Uh, and it also has. Oh, a, six foot movie screens in every cabin? Yes. Holy shit. Uh, it has a mini submarine it can launch. Why wouldn't it? And it missile proof windows to combat piracy. Wow. Yeah, don't try to download any of that guy's music. <laughs> So here's what happened. He's got missile-proof <laughs> windows. Basically, he's installed a new anti-paparazzi shield, which uh, lasers sweep the surrounding areas, and when they detect a CCD, they fire a bolt of light right at the camera to obliterate any photography. How great um, is that? According to the Times, this will not run at all, all the time, so, guests and, so friends and guests will be able to grab snapshots. Instead, they will activate it when guest spots uh, a paparazzi or other people are loitering nearby so they can turn it on at any time. Amazing. Whoa. We dig it, but British courts might not? UK Photo Magazine amateur photograph asked the London lawyer about the legal legalities of destroying photos from afar. Here's what he said. Uh, Goods, intermeddling. Intermeddling with goods belonging to someone else or altering their condition is trespass to goods and will be entitled to the photographer to claim compensation without having to prove loss. Hmm. Now, see, that's interesting. Any sentence containing the word intermeddling, our food just got here, rocket. Anti sentence intermeddling, of course, is wonderful. Lawyer spoils somewhat. I never really mentioning James Bond and mixing up lasers with laser guns. Ah. Ah. They're worried about the lasers, like, <clears throat> damaging the Damaging the camera. Something. Got it. I mean, I think this is pretty awesome. I don't think that there's anything wrong with... Because you're not, you're not doing anything to hurt 
the other person's ability to do anything other than capture an image of the thing that you own and would, you don't want image captured. Would of. you ever buy a boat like that? <laughs> if I could afford a boat like that? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Two fucking swimming bowls. <laughs> I am in. Wouldn't you? No, I don't think I would. Why? It just seems like too much maintenance, dude. Bro, you just paid $1.2 billion. You're not worried about paying for maintenance. Yeah, but dude, you're sitting there no, and No, here's the like, thing. This is I'm what you don't understand. Worried about you don't dig flying parking, that it's much, gonna be right? hard. Huh? You're not a big flying guy. Uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan, no. So here you go. You got to go to like your web conference you're going to, FOA. Instead, you just go, I'll take a couple days on my yacht. Cruise across the Atlantic. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then, when you're like, hey, let's do it. Let's just go back to my yacht. It's freaking docked I, right over here. Let's go party on I my want, yacht. I want a yacht, but I want like a, a like a 10-person yacht, not like a fucking billion-dollar yacht. Well, I mean, there's a lot of assumptions going on here. I mean, we're one that you're at a point where you can just be like, yeah, I'd like a yacht. Oh, it's 1.2 billion? Okay. Right. You know what I mean? Nobody is assuming that Who it's... Who is this guy? I'm just he's curious. He's a Russian billionaire. Yeah, Russian billionaire. Fair enough. I'm excited, dude. I want that, nice. that, that system in everything. I want to be able to be like, hey, why don't you take my picture? They should make necklaces that do the same thing. You'd be like, hey, you want a picture? And everybody- Just fires back. Yeah, and they're like, wow, this guy must have some sort of weird magnetic personality because no picture of him exists There's gotta anymore. be a way to do that. Sure. All right. What about if you're just shooting film? Well, it- <clears throat> Yeah, it detects it. Here's a CCD. Well, no, CCD is digital stuff. So maybe, yeah, film. It might Ooh. not. It might not detect the CCD because there is no CCD. Interesting. So film. Oh, old school photo- photogs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me get to this email now. I'm which excited. I'm not let you look at. I don't yet. know why you're not letting me look at it. This is what making me excited. Dear Alex and Kevin, my coworker and I spend most of our days reading our tech feeds out loud to each other and talking about general geekery. Oh, this is from uh, Micah, by the way, which is a a girl. Okay. She introduced me to your show, and although I'm a new (laughs) follower, I'm pretty hooked. I'm not going to lie. We both have a teeny crush on Alex. Okay. Sorry, Kevin, but Alex plays WoW and says things like funsies. Funsies is funsies, baby. So for my birthday, something wrong with funsies. So for my birthday, she had an awesome T-shirt made for me, and I just wanted to share it with you. Love the show. Keep up the great work. Uh, Micah, pronounced Mika. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that you wouldn't read the pronunciation before the thing. Check out the shirt, Mrs. Epic. Albrecht. <laughs> Epic. Look I love that. it. Dude, she's a cutie. Look at that. What's up, Mika? Was it Mika or Micah? Mika? It was Mika, yeah. Mika, what's up? Nice shirt. You gotta send me one of them yes, shirts. And I gotta Mika, make them up. He is engaged. I am, boo. Come to a live dignation. And disengage me now. <laughs> oh my Whoa. god. Well, I was trying to think of what funny word sounds for I engaged. was gonna say, just get him drunk enough to where he won't care, but that was. Oh, all right. Uh, that works as well. Just kidding. I love it. And Heather's a great girl. Yes, she is. But she's no Mika. Mika. Well, she doesn't have a shirt. She doesn't have a, yeah, seriously. It's offic- that's official. I think in a lot of states, that's legal. <laughs> that's that's right. like, she could probably use my credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you you see my shirt? We're I'm married, a, so that, use it. It's, just, it's on my shirt. Oh, okay. All right, you're up. That's it. That's it. That's it. All That's right. a show in the can. In the can. That is it for this week's edition of Dig Nation. I'm Alex Albright. I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time. Don't say gunnery. American Express this time. <laughs> American Express. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor. Did I say gunnery? When did I say? Yeah, it's last time. time. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Microphone check, Mike, 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 Mike. Microphone check, sensitivity. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. One, two. Microphone check. Cool.